Good afternoon everyone, here we are again, welcome to the Swift Run channel, my name is Clive Finneymore and this is Run Scotland Route 4, Lock Loop, Lock Loop, how the devil are you, just under a minute to go, um, looks like Tina's going to walk this one out, Amy's going to walk this one out, I think I'm going to take this one nice and steady as well, probably about, what do you think, 8-9 kilometres per hour, Heather? Hello Tina, hello Amy, hello um, Heather in the Swift Live stream. 30 seconds to go. Let's get walking. I have started the watch. I have got my heart rate monitor on. I just minimized the laptop screen. We will be back again later on at 6 p.m. UK time with Stephen Cousins for Swift Academy Route Seven, the last one in the series. Here we go, and we're off. Yeah, so Tina says, hello, Clive. She thought she'd go for a little walk wearing normal clothes. You don't want to get hot and sweaty then, Tina. <laughs> Sounds like me when I usually just make it back from work. Amy's walking too. Heather says, hello, Tina, Amy and Clive. Hello, everyone. Tina says she's going to go at 5.5 kilometers per hour. Taking it nice and easy. Just stretching the legs out this afternoon. This is officially a crafty run. Unfortunately, I've been caught out. <laughs> Just as we were about to start, Lucy, my wife, pulled up on the drive. So it was almost a crafty run. Almost got away with it, but I've been caught out, so. Almost. Amy says she's resting at the moment, but a bit like myself, trying to cram these little runs in aren't we get them in wherever just take them nice and steady oh, look at that. heather's going faster than me we can't have that can we <laughs> where are you heather 
Amy says she found Swift Academy run at seven difficult. My son actually did it last night. When I was outside with running club, my son Oliver, he uh, sneaked onto the treadmill seven o'clock and ran Swift Academy seven. He said he liked, he said he enjoyed it, he said it was tough. It was tough but doable. However, I still think he needs to get on here and run a hard 5k because his, uh, his interval sessions aren't set up correctly for his ability. So he said to me, he told me last night he was running at 110%. I keep telling him to do a fast 5k to get it all set up, but he won't. Too much effort in it for a teenager. Tina's gonna lower the bases tonight. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do tonight. We'll start off at 100% if we can be bothered. And if it feels like too much effort, we'll drop the bases. <laughs> Hello, Ivan, how are you, Evan? Hello, Evan. Hello everyone. Crafty run time. <laughs> Voice of Texas are playing. Crafty run time. Speak slow and clear into Mr. iPhone. Tina. Tina says, more to the point, no sports bra, Clive. <laughs> so she's keeping it as a walk. Heather says, she's never done a fast 5k on Swift. Too nervous to try. Maybe one day. Yes, Heather, you have to get on there and do a hard effort 5k. And then all these Swift Academy events and Swift events based on your 5k effort. I am doing Swift uh, Run 7 tonight, that will be the last one. And then I'm probably gonna do the 5k effort tomorrow morning at half past 10 UK time. Because tomorrow afternoon I'm at my son, he's got a football match and I've got my dad taxi man. So I'm away tomorrow afternoon, so tomorrow morning we'll have to get the 5k running Sunday I'm outside for a long run and Monday the Swift Academy is no more I believe this is the last weekend Swift Academy finishes on Monday I think or Sunday night so get your runs in get your 5k done it's almost all over And then, Tour of Watopia kicks in on Tuesday. Double XP. Share it out like a box of Quality Street. Don't eat the coffee creams though. <laughs> if you haven't heard already, MHG lunch runs, 12pm UK times for the next couple of weeks, Apple Wednesday will be run on the Watopia event at 12 p.m. The change of route, and of course, we all like a bit of double XP. So MHG gang will be running Tour of Watopia Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays until it's all over. I bet Heather, as someone in game has just said, anyone here hikes or run the West Highland Way. Heather, are you doing a progressive? You're leaving us behind again. I'm up in speed. I've got two t-shirts and a jumper on. It's gonna get warm in a minute. I see 
on the virtual run across England challenge. Amy, you're doing well on there at the moment, aren't you? There's someone else just ahead of us. There's a few swift long distance runners in there. And then there's us a lot as well. Hopefully after this weekend, we can push up the leaderboard a little bit. <laughs> Heather says, I like your P-A-T-R-Y. Why? Because I've just got it from yesterday's live stream. It was like a window into my <laughs> younger years. Adolescent, ad I can't say it. Adolescent younger years. Yes, it is, isn't it? Jim Carrey in the mask. <laughs> I wondered if you'd spot that. Oh look, a Scotty the Squirrel. Hello, buddy. Yes. Back in the 90s. Yep, Heather's just saying she has hiked or walked the Western Highland Way. Where is the Western Highland Way then? Sorry, I don't know that. If you say it's where Ben Nevis is, I have as well. If you say it isn't, I haven't been there. Apart from when I was in the Royal Navy, I was based in Rosyth or Faz Lane a few times. Ships refit. <sighs> there we go. Approaching 10 minutes done. 15 minutes to go. It's a bit cloudy here now, Tina. What's it like up in Somerset? If there was a nice morning this morning. Still very cold out there. Currently 8 degrees centigrade here in a Cornish garage. Hence why I'm wearing my jumper. Ah! Heather said the West Highland Way runs from just outside Glasgow to Fort William. So I must have been on a little bit of it then, not the whole thing. So we are approaching halfway through this 25 minute run. It's not about how fast you can do it or how far you can run, it's a timed event. So it's 25 minutes on feet, walk it, run it, sprint it, whatever you want. We are currently going 10 kilometers per hour. Just over one and a half kilometers. So we should do uh, three, three and a half kilometers by the 25 minute mark. That'd be Run Scotland, Route 4 done, the lock loop, number four of the series. We have managed to crafty run this one in each week. Never a planned run this Run Scotland. Always a last minute decision. I'm not actually sure how many there are in the series. Anybody know? How many Run Scotlands are there in the series? They seem to change it each week. Tina says, Heather, I had a wonderful Holland in, ho Hotland holiday in Scotland years ago. The scenery, 
in Glen Cole made her cry. It was, it was amazing. It's the first time I'd been to Fort William and Ben Nevis when I went there last year to run the Ben Nevis Ultra. It is very awesome to get a chance to go and visit, get up there. Tina says she had a lot of mileage or a lot of running on the weekend. So she's motoring through the challenge. We're all taking part in a virtual challenge. It's on the, um, the MHG Facebook page. I can't remember what it's called. It's a virtual challenge. And we're running from the west coast to the east coast of England virtually. It's free to enter. And it seems like there's quite a few swift runners up in the top of the table which is good to see. I did, want, I did also notice one of my um, fellow in real life Lou Pioneers members a bit further down the table. Heather says, Glen Cole is beautiful. It's funny that Stephen started his Ben Nevis Ultra video with it. Oh, is that the bit? Oh, yes, at the beginning of Ben. Uh, ben. <laughs> I can't speak this out. It's getting late in the day now, I'm getting tired. Stephen started his Ben Nevis Ultra video whilst driving through a valley. And he was trying to phone someone, I think, to tell him how brilliant it was, but there was no signal. So that is Glen Cole, where he was driving then in the video. That's where it really starts to get. That's where it you start to realise that it's quite mountainous. Heather says you walk through part of Glen Carl whilst doing the West Highland Way. <laughs> when we drove up through there when I was going to the Ben Nevis Ultra, I was saying to Lucy, my wife, oh my god. Look at the scenery. We'll be running around this in a few days time. Awesome. And yes, it was indeed. Awesome and very hilly. <laughs> Sounds like Tina might want to return one day. Good afternoon, Don Mega 70. Here we are again, running the Run Scotland Route 4. It is was nearly officially a crafty run, buddy. Dom says hello, everyone. We will be back again shortly, Don. 6 p.m. on the Swift Run channel. Don, it was supposed to be a crafty run. Unfortunately, just after I started the live stream, my wife pulled up on the drive, so I had to go out and confess. <laughs> so she knows I'm here now. So it's not officially a crafty run, but it is intentionally was supposed to be one. Busted, caught out. Two and a half kilometers done, nine minutes to go. Oh, Don's excited. Pre-race nerves are kicking in. Tomorrow is Don's first real live 5K race. What in real life? Good luck, buddy. You'll love it. You'll love it. Can't beat a 5K. Give it everything, mate. High effort from the go. Try and maintain that all the way to the end. 
if you do start feeling a little bit tired, ease off a little bit, just ease off a little bit, recover, and then push again. Turn it into an interval session. If you find it's too far to go hard all the way, just ease off, recover, push hard. Ease off, recover, push hard. Good luck with that, buddy. I'm sure you love it. Let's drop some ride-ons, have we? Let's do it the cheating way. Here we go. Ride on, ride on, ride on. Don't forget to let us know, Don, next week how it went. Join us on the Swift Run channel. Fill us in on the details. Most importantly, tell us how good it was. Don, nice one. So far, Don has three live 5k scheduled for this month and two for next month. Keep at it, buddy. I find when I first started running, I was signing up for events left, right, and center, and I was using them as training runs because you good you put good effort in when it's like a like Don says a live or in real life 5k. The adrenaline and the excitement pulls you along. Makes it more interesting, changes things up. Park run's good for that as well. Here we are, we are now at three kilometers in this 25 minute run. Here in the Run Scotland event, run four, the lock loop. Very nice indeed. 6 minutes to go, 6 minutes to go, then we've got a recovery period of about an hour or so, oh, it's going to be yes. an hour and a half, and then we'll be back again at 6pm UK time for the Swift Academy run at 7. Amy has informed me it's a toughie, it's a toughie, we might have to reduce the effort a bit then Amy. Got to start my watch then, Tina. Tina and Amy, I wouldn't have got my Garmin distance on the virtual run, but I have remembered. The watch thinks I've ran two and a half kilometers. The Swift is telling me I've ran just over three, so quick calibration at the end. that Tina did you forget to start your watch <laughs> Heather says to Don that's exciting it's nice to have runs to look forward to keeps you motivated very very true Heather very true if you're thinking of a new distance that you haven't achieved before just book it in book it in six months in the future work towards it Take it nice and steady on the day, you will do it. The more you do, the more confidence you will build. As I did three years ago, I ran my first marathon. I just took it really steady, nice and steady. Got to the finish line and realized, yes, you can run a marathon distance car. Next time, try it a bit faster. Next time, try and go a bit further. And that's where the story started.
By the way, I have signed up for the Arc of Attrition 2024. What on earth am I doing? <laughs> Never again, he said at the finish line. Never again. Twice is enough. Guess what? Last night, when the run went live, I signed up again. Oh, nice one. Heather's thinking about signing up for one of the Skyline runs. Go for it. What an atmosphere, as you know, because you were there watching the runners. Awesome event. Skyline at the start and the finish. Finish is fantastic, especially when you get there. Focus on the race, Don. Focus on the race. You don't want extra things to worry about, buddy. Get that done. Maybe when you've got a few behind you and you've got a bit more confidence and you know what you're doing, try it. But tomorrow, keep it simple. Get to the finish line. <laughs> Heather says, Arc of Attrition? Of course you have. It was never a doubt. But I have got one little confession. Due to multiple factors, I have cancelled Lakeland 100 this year for myself. As this house move thing might get delayed slightly. I don't really want to be away for four or five days when I've just moved house. And it's all the... Lucy wasn't going to come with me, so I would have been going on my own. And having to drive back for like 10 hours after running 100 miles. So I made the decision to cancel it this year. I can always try next year or the year after. So there you go. Lakeland 100 has been cancelled this year. However, the weekend after, I am running the plague again which is a 66 miler on the Cornish coast, but it's just down the road for me. I can go down, run it and get back again. Basically, it's running through the night. So you start at midnight. By midday the following day, I'll all be done and I'll go home again. <laughs> this year is all about moving house now. Things have gone up slightly. The emotional roller coaster has slightly gone uphill today. So it's on track again. Tina says, good choice, Clive. That would be foolish, yes. It's all the hits, the travelling, isn't it, Tina? It's a lot of hassle, the travelling. And there we go. We have done it. 25 minutes of Run Scotland Route 4 complete. Four kilometres on the dot. It's a nice little round number, in it? Stop right there. Stop the watch. And there we go. Friday afternoon, crafty run complete. Busted by the wife. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you for tuning in. Well done to everyone in the run. Thank you, Tina, Heather, Don Mega, for joining in on the Swift Run channel. We will be back on the Swift Run channel in an hour and a half, or 6 p.m. tonight. We will be back for run seven. Thank you, Amy. Yes, Amy was there as well, wasn't she? I remember now, I'll just scroll back. Yep, cheers Amy. Tina says, see you at six. Heather says, take care all. Don says, have a great day everyone, take care. Yes, thank you everyone, quick rest now and we will be back at 6 p.m. UK time for the Swift Academy Run 7. See you all later. Cheers everyone, bye-bye, have a good afternoon. See you later, bye.